Hi guys, welcome to my messy kitchen. Am I a minimalist? Yes. Am I a professional organizer? Yes. Do messes still happen? Yes. We have had a crazy couple of weeks. We've had people coming to stay. We have had so many things going on. We went to two musicals on the weekend. We went to saw Mamma Mia and Phantom of the Opera with my daughters and it was amazing. But what happens when life gets busy and life gets messy? Because in the middle of all of that busyness, my pancreas also decided to drop its lollies and this happens. Messes are going to happen. Messes are a sign that you live there and that you are living your life to the fullest. But what can happen is it can feel really overwhelming. I'm really overwhelmed right now by the state of my house. I'll show you in a minute. But I know that we can reset. I know that I can do as much as I can today. I know I can clear some spaces and let myself breathe a little bit. So if you are like me and in the middle of a little bit of a storm of mess, come with me and let's reset together. So one of the things that I like to do when I'm feeling overwhelmed is make sure I get myself fully dressed, put on way too much blush so I don't look so sick. It just helps me to like feel motivated to do all of the things. If that's not your thing, totally don't even worry about it. But if you are struggling, sometimes just getting dressed is a great way to start your day. So just so you guys know, it's a Thursday at like 11 o'clock. So you can reset any day, any time. It doesn't have to be this perfect window. I'm gonna try and clean up this kitchen before I have to leave in about 20 minutes. So let's see how much I can get done. Whether you have a dishwasher or you wash your dishes by hand, I think whenever I'm feeling overwhelmed, one of the quickest ways to make things feel less chaotic is to get those dirty dishes out of the way. So that's exactly what I do first. And then the next thing that I do is I try and clear off as much of my counters as possible. Now, it doesn't mean you have to put everything away like I do, but it does just help to clear your mind, let you see what's left over, and it will make your kitchen overall feel way less chaotic no matter how much how deep you clean if you can get those two things done it makes a massive difference Guys, I think we can all agree that not all cleaning tasks are your jam. And so whatever your thing is, my favorite thing is warm soapy water. So if I have warm soapy water, I just feel like everything is clean. I probably use way too much because there's way too many suds. But you know what? It's what I like to do. And if there is anything that you can do to make your cleaning on resetting a little bit more fun, then I say suds it up the better the more that you will enjoy it the more likely you are to do it For the longest time, I actually thought scrub daddies were like a bit of a tchotchke thing. And so I didn't buy into the hype. But now that I have one, guys, they really are that good. They are my absolute favorite thing to clean my sink. If you have to wipe down any sort of pots or pans, scrub daddy, it's totally worth the money. ideal world I would like to clean off my gas cooktop after every time I use it but you know what life happens and this might not look so bad on camera but it is really greasy and gross so I'm going to give this a quick go over is it going to be perfect no is it going to look better than what it does now yes
Now, doing deep cleaning when you are feeling overwhelmed is totally not necessary. However, I like to pick one job that I can go a little bit deeper on so that I'm never having to do this massive clean in my kitchen. So if you can think of one quick thing, even if it's just wiping down your black splash, I guarantee it does make things easier in the long run. Mints out the way. Talking about real life messes in the middle of me cleaning the kitchen, we had a spill, this happens. I'm gonna clean this up in addition to finishing here and then I'm out the double. I am back. I am in my son's room, which I had set up for guests. And then I thought I was going to pack everything away today, but it turns out we have more guests coming. So I'm actually just going to tidy up in here, open up the windows, freshen it up, clean it so that it's ready for the next set of guests. So come along with me. I was once watching one of those home makeover shows and they were saying about having a guest room and the person who was on the show was like, you know what, I don't want to have my house set up for like the 2% of time that we have guests and I totally resonate with that. I absolutely love setting up for guests. We just move some furniture around, clean out the room, make a bit of space and this totally works. So if you are like us that live in a relatively small home and have to change things up you can totally still have guests over without having a whole dedicated room to it so guys i have the robot vacuum going on down in Hamish's bedroom, getting ready for our guests. I always feel like secretly a little bit smug, like if I put the washing machine on or the robot or the dishwasher while I'm doing something else, like it's like secretly multitasking, even though you're not doing the work. So I've got that running and I'm just hanging out this load of washing. Yesterday, I focused on making sure that as much of our washing was clean as possible. So this is the only load I have to do today but I have a ton of stuff to bring in from outside. So I'm gonna hang this out, bring that in, and add some stage we'll fold it. <laughs> confession guys cleaning up this little play kitchen is actually one of my favorite things to do because I like it set up my way with all the food together so I am just quickly tidying this up because I knew that we had more kids coming but if you are like me and like to set up your kids toys so that they're your way let me know down in the comments Now I am just getting cracking on folding all of this washing. Now I, this is, I actually love folding washing, but I hate putting it away. So some days I procrastinate a little bit, but I do know that I can always catch up and I would rather have some baskets of clean washing than have dirty washing sitting around. So whatever it is that you are doing today to reset your home, it is going to make a difference and there will be less for your future self to do tomorrow. I would love to know down in the comments, what are your favorite jobs to do that when you do them, they make you feel way less overwhelmed. They are your big bang for you buck jobs that make your home feel cleaner. I can't wait to chat with you down there.